Aquarius, it is your turn to get your reading for July of this current year. Do, 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 do. There we go. Got your little tune going for you. How y'all doing? Little air signs. Aquarius are such interesting people. They always see things differently, but then they get really mad if you're not as happy as they are. Then it just gets scary. Just, I think they all want to fight. At some point, all of them just want to fight. They don't care. They just fight. I want to see a girl who just fought everything. She fought a chick, dragged her out by her hair, and then started making out of her with her when the lawn sprinklers came on. I don't know if that's the Aquarius thing to do or just a crazy person thing to do. Or maybe that's just what you do when you don't know what you're doing. Who knows? No whammies. Okay. This is your reading, Aquarius. Let's go. Nine of Wands reverse, guarding too much, right? Uh, what you want to do is get your work in with the Eight of Pentacles. And then we got your fear, which is the Knight of Wands. Maybe somebody not making the movement or someone not um, delivering a message timely or someone not giving you something that you need or want. We got the Nine of Pentacles, what's going on around you, feeling lavish, lush, um, which also leads to getting the work in, right? Then we got what's against you is the truth. What is this truth you're afraid of? Because it leads to the Nine of Wands. Like, this truth leads to you feeling guarded. And being afraid that, like, someone's going to deliver a message or get somewhere in time. Or, like, there's going to be a hesitation or a delay in movement of some sort. The ending is weakness. The weakness that comes with that uh, Knight of Wands. And there is a need but an ability to make a decision of value. Like the Nine of Pentacles leads up to the work. Wanting to get work done. Putting your time and effort into something. But then we got this weakness, vices, um, maybe temptation. And that temptation and that weakness. And that blindness and all that good gestures which go against strength. Um, they all lie below this knight not making it to deliver his message or travel. We must keep that in mind. I wonder what this truth is, man. Because I'm very, very curious why you would guard so hard against this truth. Because that's a lot of, like, stuff to worry about, you know? Or is it just a new perspective that's going against you? Or a new idea? Or maybe someone saw something that you didn't see and you're hoping it doesn't spread. I have to say, of all the Zodiac signs, I think the best cult leaders in the world would be Aquarius. Because they could definitely make people feel as though they could commute. And they could come together with shit, man. Every Aquarius I've met, they are good at networking with people. They are good at making communications, creating a web to connect with people. But it, somehow it always turned up into drugs. And I've never understood that shit. Like, how? Like, they're really good at it, but it always ends up with them only the, having a command center full of nothing but people who, who do drugs. Which is weird. No, anyways. Okay. Aquarius, here's the rest of it with clarification. Queen of Cups, water sign possibly. You're guarding against her because she's possibly very emotionally manipulative. Uh, um, what you want is to work on a tower moment. Clarity? You, you, you want? Are you working to make this happen? To have the disaster strike so people can open their eyes? Because, like... Or is how you work the tower moment because what's below that is the truth. So, um, this, you're hoping, I guess you're, you're afraid that this Knight of Wands will be stalled in delivering a secret. Maybe you don't want him delayed. Maybe you want him delayed because he is delivering. No, you're afraid of him being delayed because of some secret, I guess. Um, the Three of Swords, with this Nine of Pentacles of this luxury, which leads to this heartbreak between you and this Queen of Cups. 
It also leads to this clarity moment with the tower and not what you're working on. Like, or what you're working on is leading to the tower and getting everything you want and more. Getting exactly what you asked for. Perfection. Well, it's going against you. And then the weakness against memories and back in the day, childhood things. And the Hierophant, the ruler, not making a decision when it comes to following order, structure, shit like that, right? So you got this guarded against the queen because, like, there's the truth that's going against you. But as an emotionally manipulative woman, she might use the truth against you. Because that might lead to, like, getting everything you could possibly want scenario with her. And you're really hoping that there's a delay. You're afraid of a delay with this Knight of Wands because he might be carrying this secret. Or he's the one you don't want to hear the secret. Um, with this Knight of Pentacles, which is, like, luxury, there comes with a heartbreak. It leads up to, like, working where this tower moment comes to be. And there's weakness when it comes to back-in-the-day shit, I reckon. Like, like, the Knight of Wands has a weakness to childhood memories. Or the past, or has a soft spot for it. Or something... Do you not want anyone to know about this Knight of Wands? And you're, but you're afraid of the delay? No, no, that's not right either. Like, it's obvious that, like, the childhood memories are a weakness to the Knight, right? But I'm not sure how. Like, like there's something in the past that's being that that is like it's Achilles' heel for this night. Like something from back in the day that might that could be used against him. And you're hoping like he won't show up at this particular time because that secret will come out against him. Is this air night. Do you think that this Queen of Cups who's potentially manipulative is going to ruin um, your good time? <laughs> that's what I feel like. Hmm. Like, yours is really weird, because it's like... Like, Aquarius, did you break someone's heart intentionally in order to get this luxury? It was that someone doing that to you. And then when you're at work, it suddenly hits you. It's just like, oh my god. And then, like, there's this weakness that comes up from the past. Or someone might be weak enough to use something from the past against somebody else. Like, like, like blackmail or some shit. Something like that. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, that's your reading for July, you guys. Um, well, the beginning of July. I will see you all later, and you guys have a good one.